Good morning, children. Welcome to the online session of Sri Gokulam Public School, Gurbayur. And Seema is here today doing a new poem about written by Rabindranath Tagore. You know who is Rabindranath Tagore? Rabindranath Tagore was a Bengali poet, writer, composer, painter. See, all these talents he had. He was a Nobel Prize winner in literature. In the year 1913, he got a Nobel Prize winner. He was born in 1861. He was a Nobel Prize winner. Then in Calcutta, he's a Bengali man. He was a man of many talent. First Indian to win a Nobel Prize. He was the first Indian who got Nobel Prize. You know what's Nobel Prize? Yes, you should know. You might have learned in your social studies and many more lessons we have done it. But he was an educationist. He was education. So he taught. He had his own school, Shanti Niketan, where children were taught um, according to the old system, like, you know, in the open air. We had classrooms to sit under the tree. The teacher will sit and they will discuss and learn and do in the open air. It was fun, children. It was really fun. It's still there in, the, in Calcutta, Shanti Niketan school. Mm. And they teach all good things. All vocational. Now, what is vocation? We have to do the poem of Rabindranath Tagore, vocation. Now, he was a freedom lover. So Rabindranath Tagore wanted freedom. He always accepted freedom for everything. He said that we must have freedom to live, freedom to do whatever we like. We simply are, you know, tied up with the uh, situations where we are told to have a. Um, we don't have freedom to do what we like. We cannot accept. Um, uh, we have to. So, if you want to be a skilled laborer, like you know, vocational courses are there. Like they teach you carpentry, they teach you in school farming, they teach you many things which you can do it on your own. You can become a person who can build your own house also. So, vocational guidance are there. Vocational courses are there, which everybody does. Now, this poetry we will go into about Rabindranath Tagore, as I told you. It's a very nice poem, children. He accepts that we all need freedom to do what we like. But that's not what is happening in the world. I'll tell you one thing, children. Years back, there was a president in America. And his son used to work in the uh, early morning. He used to go and he used to collect um, all the garbage from all the houses. He used to, collect, he used to um, clean the roads. You know, in, in America, the roads are made of rubber. And it's different colored. And you can wash it with water. So they wash the roads and clean it every day. So it looks so nice and it's, uh, you know, very neat and tidy. So, um, he, and... Uh, uh, he used to do that work, not because he's a president's son, he, couldn't, he, mis he needed to do all this, but he did it for his own income, to get some money for his own pocket money, for his studies, anything you can use it for. So also, you know, our president of India, Abdul Kalam, he used to give, go to homes to give newspapers in the morning, early morning, and he did hard work too, and later on he became a scientist, then he became a president of India too. So there is nothing wrong in doing any work children. Dignity of labor is there. Nobody is great and nobody is small. Everybody cannot be managers and doctors and engineers. There should be people for everything, even carpentry work, then uh, all skill works. You are doing farming, you need to know how to plow, how to sow the seeds and many more things. Now they are taught in schools. So we become self-reliant. That is, we, be, we are able to live now during this COVID-19 period. It's very difficult to get uh, everything. Then in case it extends, it will be difficult to get uh, all those wheat, rice and anything what you want. So if you have your vegetables and plants, everything growing in your place, in your little place, you can be using it for yourself. If you know farming, you can do that. So that's called vocation. Now this poetry is apt for this vocation. Makes you self-reliant. That is, you are able to do things on your own. You can make things, whatever you want. If you want to give to your parents something made of carpentry work, if you have learnt it, you can make a box, you can make a jewellery box, you can make so many things. Artistically, skill over it, become an expert in it. So, he actually meant to 
aim at that. He felt that that's way. That is why he's called an all over talented person. He he had his hands over everything. So here we go to the poem. Um, it's about a little boy is going to school in the morning, and um, on his way he looks. He what he could see in the marketplace when he reaches, he finds people, hawkers. You can call them hawkers are people who sell on the road. They are selling um, bangles. They are selling. All these things, they call out people and say, "Please buy bangles, bangles everywhere, green and red and yellow and red, all like that." And they make songs and all, and he used to enjoy as a small boy, boy like you, like they are singing and they're selling the things, they're calling out loudly. You can scream on top of us and do all those things, but your parents want to love you, so that restriction is really spoiling us, not allowing us to do whatever we want. But the world is so we have to be with the world, children. Your parents want you to be. Becoming doctors, engineers, and all, you can decide what you want to be, and you take up the subject, and you excel in that subject. Become a skilled worker, and you show the world that any work is possible. You can make money with anything that you do. Now, this is about the little boy. How he's saying, when the gang gong sounds ten in the morning, and I walk to school by a lane. So in the morning, ten o'clock, he's going to school by the lane, by the way, or the lane is the road that is narrow, narrow road that we have no near your house, you know. Every day I meet the hawkers crying, bangles, crystal bangles, bangles means, voila, green bangles, red bangle, yellow bangle, all glass bangles made of glass crystals that is glass. There is nothing to hurry him on. There is no road he must take. There's nothing to hurry for him. You don't have to take any road. He'll come to your place. No place he must go to. No time when he must come home. He can come any time. You find people no hawkers on the way. The fish they go and selling. Pooey pooey they call. You also like to become a fisherman. Go in the cycle and sell fishes. Then I wish I were a hawker, spending my day in the road, crying bangles, crystal bangles. He wanted to become a Person who sell bangles. Even when I was small, children, when I used to travel, I used to see the conductor, bus conductor, ringing the bell and taking money, collecting, giving money. You know, I used to enjoy. I used to wish I could become a conductor when I grow big. Then when I saw a policeman running and doing work, hard work, exercise, exercise, and all that, I said, Oh, I wish I was a policeman. Then when I saw, so when we are small, we think of all the things we want to be. We don't know where we are. We don't know what we are going to be later on. So we are going to school to study, but we don't know what what is going to attract us, what is it going to interest us, what is our passion, what is the profession or career that we are going to take up. You can be a teacher, you can be anything that you like. He does what he likes with his spade. What is spade? You know, there's, a, there's another person. I can see through the gate of that house the gardener digging the ground. Sometimes you see your gardener working in your house. You know, they dig the ground and all, and they plant trees and all. So you feel like, oh, wish I was a gardener too. He does what he likes with his spade. He soils his clothes with dust, I and mean, when he's, you know, all his clothes get dirty. You know, people who come to clean your land, no, near your house. Nobody takes him to task. Nobody likes him. They think if he gets baked in the sun or gets wet, nobody bothers about him whether he's getting baked in the sun, getting hot, you know, in the sun, and you can't stand in the sun and work for so long. It's really very difficult thing. But he's doing it because he enjoys doing that work. That's what we want, children. I wish I were a gardener digging away at the garden with nobody to stop me from digging. So this boy was once thinking of wanting to become a person who sells bangles. Another time he thinks of becoming a gardener who will dig and he can do whatever he wants in the mud and play and soil his clothes and enjoy, you know, that way. Just as it gets dark in the evening and my mother sends me to bed. No mothers. No, come on, now go to bed. No watching TV, nothing. You know, at time you have to go to bed because next day you have to go to school. I can see through my open window the watchman walking up and down. So the night when he looks out of his window, he could see there are watchmen, kept security guards. Sometimes they have a gun and all. Pretty oh, wish I was a security guard. You don't value for you just enjoy being that because you're small and you want to be that because you don't think of the salary that you get if you become a manager, doctor. You get a lot of money. But the enjoyment you get with these little jobs is really wonderful, children. You all should be doing some little 
jobs at home like you know helping your mother to cook helping your mother to wash clothes helping your mother to clean the house whether you're a boy or a girl don't think if your parents are thinking in that form help them out tell them this is for the good i will learn the work and when i grow big i can do any work what i want you see i don't have to depend on others you don't have to wait for the servant to come and cook out to clean the house and to do all those things so i can see through my open windows the watchman walking up and down you see the watchman walking the lane is dark and lonely it is in the dark so imagine how brave he is in the dark he is there outside waiting to see if anybody comes street lamp stands like a giant with one red eye in its head he stands like the that street light is there below that he stands there it's a big eye there it can eye the watchman swings his lantern and walks there's a lantern with him you know it's a lantern you you put light in it no and the nowadays we use torch but that time they had this lantern where they burn it inside candle with this you know then the watchman swings his lantern and walks with his shadow at his side and never once goes to bed in his life he never goes to bed because every night he has to do the work of a security get to take where the secured everything is nobody comes no robbers come nobody come to kill them and to loot their wealth or everything i wish i were a watchman walking the street all night i wish i was a watchman so i will be like a brave man a courageous person everybody wants to be that no chasing the shadows with my lantern and all the shadows if i see a quick chase hey hey go out well i don't get scared of ghosts and anything so this would be not a good dream sir so children whatever you want to do you do nothing wrong in learning all the things farming go with your father if your father is a farmer go with him to at least plant trees and all help him out that's all very nice and you learn to do hard work that is what rabina told he always wanted freedom and his poems are all connected with freedom his stories and everything you know he has written our janagana mana that is our famous national anthem is written by him he was such a great person he then um, this um, our president uh, abdul kalam you should read his books and all you know how they lived their life enjoyed life so it's all for today please uh, write the questions as learn them revise them try to understand the poem and do something be very practical about what you are doing don't just say be a person of words be practical do every love what you are doing whatever you are doing love it children even when you are studying love it have a passion for it now everything that you do don't go into you know elders they all have words of kind different they don't uh, understand like how you enjoy your life you have to enjoy your life life is short you cannot say when a person can leave this world so however much you have life enjoy it so you will be happy you will be healthy you will be um, smart you will be always young and beautiful so beauty will just come out you look beautiful you don't have to put makeup and all if your heart is clear the hard working and very you think reasonably there is blood flowing everywhere there's no you know when there is a block anywhere in your body it's all sickness so don't allow any block to come to you, you work hard do all work all the work you can all my best wishes have a nice day thank you for today